guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm just gonna show you guys how to do a natural bead I don't know why but whenever I do my makeup even if I'm trying to do something extravagant I always end up with something natural so I don't even do a bead I do much more of a pat I like to start off by drawing on my eyebrows I mean my eyebrows are already pretty thick so I usually just start with the top and then I also outline the bottom and then I try to give myself a little point at the corners as you guys can see Now after I'm satisfied with the look of my new eyebrows, I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I just outline the top, bottom, and the corners of my eyebrows. Now, this is the hard part because I always, and when I say always, I try to make my eyebrows look like twins. But sometimes they may come out as fraternal twins and at that point I really just, I just choose peace over my eyebrows. To follow up, I just go ahead and blend with my blending brush and I try my best to kind of blend it in but the thing that I've always hated about this concealer was I always felt like personally for me it was hard to blend in. I'm not sure if anybody else has that problem but for me it just never like really completely blends into my skin. But I also wear glasses so I could be blind. <laughs> Naturally, I'll use this powder as contour, but instead I'm just going to use it for eyeshadow only because it's more of a brown color, it's more of a natural color, and it's going to look great for my natural look. Thank you. 
Now I use Too Faced as my foundation. It is literally my favorite thing in the world. I only apply it in dots just because I don't really like to apply that much foundation. And then I just go in with the brush and I pat it in. Of course, different people are going to use different techniques. So like some people may use a beauty blender or some people may use a blending brush, but use whatever works for you. Now I'm going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just going to put it on the corner of my eyes and then I'm going to kind of put it on the edge of my eyes. Now I've seen this somewhere, I can't recall where I've seen it from, but they kind of said like don't put it under your eyes because I guess it gives your face like a flat type of look and not like a lifted look. So I just always do that from now on. And I know I shouldn't like quote things that I can't find or find where I found it from, but it's been working. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender, I'm going to wet it a little, and then I'm going to blend in that concealer. Now the only thing that I will say is that if blending just becomes such a job, like it just takes so much work, and I get so tired sometimes. Does anybody else get tired? As for contour, I just use a darker concealer from Juvia's Place. I put it on both of my cheeks and then I also put it on the corners of my nose. That's why you didn't see me add the lighter concealer yet because whenever I blend this in, it kind of just messes it up anyways. So I always just wait till after.
After blending in my contour, it can reach places where I applied my lighter concealer, so I just do that process all over again. Now I'm going to pull out the infamous Laura Mercier baking powder. I'm not sure if I say that name right, it's just such a tongue twister for me. But I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to apply it to the places that I had concealer. Going in with that same eyeshadow that we used earlier, we're just going to reapply our eyeshadow. Finally, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier finishing powder. This powder has a little bit of a shimmer, but I feel like it makes my face look gorgeous. And of course, the purpose of this product is to finish your look. Now I apply my lashes in the weirdest way. I pull my eyelid down and then I put the lash on top of it in the middle. I fix the corner all the way at the end and then after that dries, I try to go ahead and attempt the inner corner. It's weird, but it's the only thing that works for me. So now that I've put on my lashes the best way that I possibly can, I'm going to work on my lips. I take a dark lip liner and I line my lips and after that I take a really tiny brush and I blend it all in.
The lip gloss I will be using is of course NYX. I'm gonna drop the description down below. And I feel like this lip gloss is perfect for dark skinned women. I literally forgot the biggest thing, which is blush and highlight. Oh my goodness. As for my blush, I seen somewhere where they were like, if you put the blush on the top of your cheeks, it kind of lifts your face instead of if you put it on directly on your cheeks, it just kind of like brings your face down. So I've always put it on top of my cheeks. Now listen, I know I shouldn't be quoting things that I can't find, but I'm telling you it works. I also do the same thing for my highlight, but I don't really like to add too much highlight, so I just add a little bit and I also put it on my nose. I have one thing to say. You better work, bitch. Anyways, here is my hair. It was wrapped better. My hair was definitely wrapped better earlier in the night, but I'm not sure what happened. Just so I can make sure it's like blended in there. My hair was definitely um, straighter a couple days ago, but you know how that is. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably, I'm going to kind of try to side part. I want to try to side part with this dress. So let me see how that means. The side parts are supposed to be like done with something with a comb that's more thin, but I can't find it right now and I don't have time. So what was that? No. Like I just got this washed and I may need another wash. I mean obviously this isn't turning out because I've gone. And plus, nine times out of ten, when I get there and I sit down, this is gonna go kaboom. So it doesn't even really matter. But I kind of wanted to try and see how it would look like if I curled it a little bit. I did not leave it long enough and I kind of didn't want to leave it long enough because this is my real hair and I'm scared so but let's see We're not doing that. <laughs> we not, we, oh crap. Crap! And here are my pictures. I felt so gorgeous. I felt so beautiful. I loved how I looked. I loved my hair. And I feel like every woman should take at least one day out of the week or every other week and just go out with friends or go out by yourself. Take some pictures and enjoy yourself. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of the support. And I will see you guys in the next video.